Thanks for tuning in for another Essential RC flight test. I have here FMS's 1.7 meter F7F Tiger Cat. The full size was made by Grumman and saw service with the US Navy and the US Marine Corps until about 1954. It was too late for World War II, but it did see action in the Korean War. It was a very effective night fighter and it flew off larger aircraft carriers as well. Let's not hang around, let's take the components out of the box, let's see what we get. Quickly showing the container and how well secured everything is inside the polystyrene container once you've taken it out of the box so you can see nothing is going to move. No chance of anything get, getting damaged uh, by moving around when it's in transit to your door. And it's also really important these days that they do keep these boxes as small as possible so it uh, reduces the shipping costs. Good job FMS. Two minutes later and everything is unboxed. So let's have a quick look at the fuselage. The, the first thing you pick out is the, uh, the rivet detail that's on this, on this model. It's over, uh, over the fuselage its entire length and it's a very long fuselage and the wings. Uh, and this is going to be complemented by the four sets of uh, stickers that you get. Uh, you choose one of the four sets and apply those. We've got a pilot in the cockpit. Always great to see. So many manufacturers these days don't include a pilot, which is ridiculous. Um, so great to see FMS does that. You've got a latch at the back for the canopy. And then looking inside you can see there's quite a bit of space in here for the 6S 5000 or 6000 we can put in here. You've got Velcro in there to help you with uh, keeping your battery pack in place and then you've got the all the uh, the leads out of the Reflex gyro stabilization system which if you don't know has three modes off, stabilized and optimized. Uh, stabilized is really uh, auto leveling and then you've got optimized which reduces the effects of wind and turbulence on the model. So that all looks good. Servo and arm already in place, push rod already in place onto the rudder. And we've got the elevator halves over here. Again, the uh, servo is already in place with the push rods connected up to the to the control surfaces, and we've got the wings and the the uh, these nacelles that I guess uh, get slung underneath the wings with the, the the retract doors, the landing gear doors, the brushless motors already in place with their speed controllers and uh, a few packets in the in the box as well so you've got the nose cone and um, bolts hubs for the propellers and spinners two sets of um, propellers obviously because this is a twin so this is not going to take very long to put together it does come with a manual it's important to use the right screws in the right places so we'll make sure that we do that and uh, we'll see this next down the flying field. Okay, so here we are down the flying field, Jason on camera. Hello. With the Tiger Cat and so easy to put together. You literally got the fuselage, you bolt the wings on, you bolt the nacelles on to the bottom of the wings and you put the, uh, the uh, horizontal stabilizers on. It's, it's as simple as that. Uh, it will take you longer to put the stickers on it. Now, the one thing I will say, it did come with um, some water transfer um, decals, decals, whatever you want to call them, nose art. And uh, I tried very hard to apply that and couldn't. It's a bumpy service with this scale rivets. Didn't work for me. Uh, and I talked to a couple of other owners and they had problem applying that as well. But I don't, it doesn't detract from the overall look of the thing. The, the one thing I did find after I connected up, you've got three phase wires to connect up, plus the speed controller throttle cable. Uh, no, no, just the three phase wires. 
and and the, I think the retract cable. Now the three phase wires, I had to I bolted it on and I tested it and I found that the prop was going the wrong way on the right wing. So I had to unbolt it and then swap over to the phase wires uh, and for it to rotate the right way. So they should spin inwards contra rotating which is what they should be doing now the other thing with the CG um, I've got it on the just forward of what it says in the manual for the stock CG and despite that it's very very lightly loaded it will almost sit on its tail if you, it does sit on its tail so I think this is going to get in the air quite quickly and I'm going to have to hold in a bit of down elevator to get the speed on the ground but uh, we'll see how it goes here we go for the first flight of the Tiger Cat. Ready, Jay? I'm ready. Okay, flaps are up, flat takeoff hopefully, and then gear up. Here we go. Gear going up. Very slow, the gear, to go up on this. Let's get a bit of altitude. <laughs> and amazingly, no trim needed. Flying level, straight out of the box. So I'm confident enough to just put it in for a slow pass on this first one. Half throttle. Really nice. Going to take it gentle for this first maiden flight. So that it was a, a four max, sixty C. Nice so far. We'll just make this a. Uh, does look really good in the really, air, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look good. Nice. Uh, just keep it a short flight for this maiden. Keep it flat as well, no aerobatics.
idle brakes, it doesn't leave the idle brakes for sale. It's more of a stick. And I'm at about half throttle for most of the flight. Little bit of wind today, so we got about 10-15 miles an hour wind down the strip. So I'm glad I didn't use any flap, it didn't need it for that really nice gentle takeoff. Into the camera. Next time around, we're going to start putting the gear down. The gear, the gear does take like 15, 20 seconds. Can you put to... the gear down when it's coming up, yeah, uphill? I'll do, that. I'll do that. And then we'll see it in the camera. It'll take the whole of the strip to deploy. So I'm flicking it down gear now. Down. Lovely. So I'm in two minds about flaps. I might use half, I reckon. Half flaps for the approach. And we're down. That is all right. down, pull down, keep the nose in down. How was that, Dom? That was good, nice, gentle maiden, nothing, nothing wild. Great power. That that was half power around that whole flight. Just some figure eights and some nice passes. Really, really good. And the CG was spot on. I have to say that 6S5000 pack is right to the front. So I think we said 60, 68 mil from the leading edge of the wing. They say 70 to 80, uh, but I thought at seven, the 70 mark would would be perfect. So there you go. That's the FMS Grumman F7F Tiger Cat. Really enjoyed flying that. It's a big model with lots of presence in the sky. You can have a lot of fun flying this. Jay, thanks for camera work. No problem. And um, we'll be back soon on the Central RC with another flight test. Bye. Brilliant.